What's up, YouTube? I want to talk to you guys today, or tonight, about how God will have you under attack. You will wonder why all your friends, family, co-workers are almost like attacking you. It feels like you're under attack by all sides. And you're learning something new. God's testing you sometimes in a situation to see if your true, if your character is true and worth the promotion. In, in the book of Job, God talked to Satan and said, have you seen my servant, Job? God puts us to the test to see our character, to see our valor, to see our strength, to test us, to test us to see if we're going to be people of true character, of God's uh, character, or are we going to break down and curse and yell and and just break down emotional or are we gonna have the emotional intelligence to stand there and realize that it's a test a test of our character our test of our emotional intelligence our test of our wit our test of our spine when you're under attack on all sides from friends, family, acquaintances, co-workers, people that wish you the best in life but say you can't do it, understand if you are of character, of sound mind, of high emotional intelligence, you can overcome the, the uh, test that Satan throws our way. Satan in the book of Job came to the throne of God and God asked him, Satan, where have you been? Pretty much. And Satan responded, going to and fro among the earth. Pretty much. I don't know if that's word for word uh, what's in the book of Job, but to sum it up. So, Satan says, but if you take away all his worldly possessions, then he will cry out. Well, God did that. Then God did more. Every single time Satan challenged God in a certain way to put a test on Job to see what Job would do. If we truly understand God's plan, God's mission, and God's will, we don't need to lose our emotional intelligence. We don't need to lose our vision, our hope, and our understanding of what our Father wants best for us. Our Father knows best, according to the Bible. Our Father knows best when there are people in our way that are testing us, sometimes even the prophets of old in the Old Testament left their hometown to go to another city to prophetize because it was the will of God. Jonah went to Nineveh, many other uh, prophets went elsewhere. Even Paul left his home of, I think it was Tarsus, and went elsewhere to preach the gospel. I think he wrote more than half the New Testament. The letters to different churches, the, 
to Timothy, to uh, Titus. Paul was a, a great man. He saw his problem. He knew he was wrong, what he was doing. He fell down and changed his ways. That's what we need to do in our lives. When we know we are walking in sin, when we know we are wrong, we are in the wrong area, we left, we decided to go the opposite way. God told us, like Jonah, to go to Nineveh, but instead we got on a boat. In the boat, there was a storm, if I remember correctly. And uh, if you understand the idea that there, that we must go to God and go God's way. God says, go to Nineveh, and if we go on the boat, then we get in, you know, thrown over from the boat because of the rocky storm you see, um, like Jonah was thrown overboard. Then the big whale, big fish, uh, whatever it was, big fish, if I remember correctly, he swallowed Jonah. So jo Jonah's in the belly of this big fish. Then the fish, I think, eventually spits him out. But the bottom line is this. God took Jonah and sent him back the way that God wanted him to go. Sometimes we need to understand that we need to stop being selfish and realize the reason why we're not living the way we should be living in an abundance living because we're not doing the right thing. We're only working 40 hours when we need to work uh, 70 or 90 hours for some time, sacrifice to grow a business, sacrifice to grow a career, to go to school when you're working 50 hours a week. So you might be putting in 30 hours for school a week, writing, you know, studying and all that, then also going to work full time and overtime to pay for school so when you are out of school you don't really have that many bills you know or maybe you're taking care of your family and friends you know sometimes you got to sacrifice sometimes it might be we have an ill family member in our lives and we need to work those 70 hours weeks to help pay the bills for grandma or for mom or for uncle um, Tom Ted Joe, name it, your aunt and your uncles, your family members, your brothers or your sisters, or your, your children. Maybe your children are handicapped. Maybe they can't have a full, fulfilling life. But with you, you're able to go and get the health insurance by working the 80 hours a week to uh, let them live a full, rewarding life at home with you. If you understand the idea of resisting, sometimes you got to resist the people, the onslaught, the people that are saying no, the people that are negative. Sometimes you got to leave the city you're in, the people that know you well, and go somewhere else to make a living and come back later and you can retire. Let them be right. Let them be right. But also know that if you're living honor, honestly, living the, under the laws and terms and conditions of God's will, of God's kingdom, will come. But right now, he wants us to follow the rules and regulations and all that is within the uh, government that we live in. And... You resist the negativity. You resist the people that don't want you to do well. And sometimes you got to leave town to live that life that God wanted you to live. And I believe that uh, strongly because I sat here, I listened to uh, Pastor um, T.D. Jakes, other men like him, um, 
Miles Monroe. I listen to him. I listen to all these great men. Now, I'm not saying they're perfect. I'm not saying they're 100% right all the time. But it's good to find wisdom and understanding when there's someone preaching. And that's the great thing about YouTube. These men are available to us and to the, 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 the audience, their regular parishioners as well. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And remember, resist the negativity of people in your life that don't have the, the best idea of your current situation and you're sacrificing for something better for you and your family. And there's a reason why you might need to change where you're at in your life to go to the right direction. You must resist sometimes, but resisting doesn't mean that you're resisting the laws of our country. You're resisting the negativity of other people that don't understand where you're at right now and where you're going. What is your destination? And do it under the rules and regulation and laws of our uh, earthly rulers and I believe God will reward you I believe God will reward me you and everyone that follows the rules and regulations of all uh, governments um, thanks again and check us out on our next YouTube have a great day